Garlic can have significant positive impacts on our bodies, reducing the risk of heart attack and lowering cholesterol. Avni Lal has more with Dr. Matthew Budoff of UCLA School of Medicine, who discusses a study he conducted that shows the benefits of adding garlic to your diet. Garlic has been the topic of study for years, right? And you've done some own, your own research about aged garlic. Can you share more about that? Yeah, so I've been studying garlic for at least a decade now, and we've been looking at the heart and showing that it slows down blockages or plaque buildup in the arteries of the heart. So that's really good to help prevent heart attacks and strokes. It also lowers cholesterol and blood pressure. So we think it's a heart healthy supplement. And the benefits of garlic, doctor, have been well known, right, for, for years. But the odor and the taste may keep people from making it part of their daily routine. So what are some ways we can ingest garlic without the lingering odor or the taste? Yeah, no, it's a, it's a big problem. Uh, so what we did in our clinical trials is we used a supplement called aged garlic extract, which is odorless. So I couldn't smell the patient and know if they're on garlic or not. But if you don't tolerate garlic in your diet, then there are supplements that are odor free that people can take and get the benefits of garlic without the smell of garlic. Doctor, can you talk more about the benefits of garlic? What else did your study reveal? Yeah, so you know, we know that it lowers blood pressure, which is great. It lowers cholesterol, which is helpful. Um, it, it reverses the plaque in the arteries. So it's not liquid Drano, it, it just, but, but it slowly moves the plaque in the right direction so that we have less and less buildup in our arteries of our heart. Um, so that over time, we think there's gonna be a, a really nice benefit. And it's also anti-inflammatory. It lowers inflammation, which we know is a bad thing for the body in general. Does the research show how long you have to ingest garlic for to see these benefits? Most of our studies were one year. Um, so I, I would say that if you want the long-term benefits of garlic, you'll have to take it for the long-term. Uh, but we start seeing benefits at 12 weeks, at three months. At three months. And what was the dosage? What's an ideal dosage for an average healthy American to take on a daily basis? Yeah, you know, it's hard with, with dietary garlic because we don't know exactly how, you know, if you cook it versus dice it versus mince it versus, you know, uh, eat it raw. There's different amounts absorbed. Uh, for the uh, for the aged garlic, we, we gave people two capsules a day uh, of the supplement, and that, that was an excellent dose. But I'd say if you can digest it regularly in your meals, I think of the Mediterranean diet. The Mediterranean mm -hmm. diet has a lot of garlic in it, among other things, and that's been shown to make people live longer as well. That was Dr. Matthew Budoff, a professor of medicine at UCLA School of Medicine.